In 2018, scientists working deep in the heart of Ecuador were convinced they'd spotted one of the forest's most elusive and mysterious creatures. Assisted by the eyes of modern technology, their suspicions turned out to be true. Northwest Ecuador is one of the most biodiverse places in the world. As part of the Chaco ecosystem, these tropical forests are home to species found nowhere else on Earth. Sitlali Morelos is the director of the Tesoro Escondido Reserve, which covers over 20 square kilometers of primary forest in the Chaco lowlands. The biodiversity here is uh, understudied, so we're always finding new species and new interactions between species. This is the only place where you can find a healthy population of spider monkeys. And it was just two years ago when Sitlali discovered that the world's most powerful and spectacular bird of prey was living right above her head. We felt very fortunate because at first we didn't know how special this was. Harpy eagles are, are rare in the country. They need a primary forest where they chose to build the nest. Harpies specialize in catching monkeys. Their 13 centimeter long talons match the size of a grizzly bear's claws. They have unrivaled eyesight, pinpointing partially camouflaged targets from over 200 meters away. Maneuvering through the trees with fighter pilot reactions, the Harpy Eagle's victims rarely know what's hit them. Before Tsitlali began her work at the reserve, the local community wrongly believed that the forest was a dangerous place and that harpy eagles regularly preyed on their livestock. The forest was there to be taken, and they cared very little for the giant trees needed by these majestic birds to build their nests. But thanks to Tsitlali and her team's efforts, the local opinion has started to change. Since our work began, we have created a bigger awareness of the importance of maintaining this kind of forest. Synchronicity Earth has been involved right from the start, and they understand uh, the essence of Tesoro Escondido and how uh, the local communities are uh, vital for the protection of this reserve. Harpy eagles are a key indicator of a healthy forest ecosystem. They raise just one chick every two to three years, so the team are keen to see how the latest youngster is getting on. We're going to go and monitor the harpy eagle's nest because we haven't seen her for a while. We are now at the time where the chick should be flying and finding her own territory, and in a few months the parent should be laying a new egg. Although relieved to see the youngster is doing well, Sitlali knows her battle to help save the Chaco has only just begun. There is still a long way to go. I think if every person in their own way, in their own house, even if it's in a flat in the city, begins to do something for the planet, then you know these little actions will sum or a lot. Ecuador occupies just 0.2% of the Earth's land surface, yet contains 10% of all known plant species, the greatest number per unit area of any country in the world. Fortunately, people like Tsitlali, and now the local community, want to keep it that way. I'm happy that I'm doing something for this amazing forest. My hope for the future is that everyone finds time and energy to reconnect with nature in every way possible.